Blackbrush is a mid-sized thorny shrub with multiple basal stems originating from the trunk. The shape is a rounded crown and can reach 12 foot tall at maturity. Ironically, blackbrush grows white thorns up to two inches in length and is dark, heavy green leaves. The bark is tight and smooth and light gray in color. Blackbrush is a colonizer and is capable of growing in large thickets or may be interspersed with other species such as wahio, sinisa, and prickly pear. It prefers calcareous or rocky soils, but is tolerant of many other soil types and is very common throughout South and West Texas. Blackbrush is considered a number two choice browse plant and is a vital part of the landscape on many ranches. Thickets offer shade, forage, overhead protection, travel lanes with bare ground underneath, shelter from poor weather, and provides a medium sized bean in the summer months. The new leaves are tender and palatable with crude protein levels reaching upwards of 20% with more mature leaves later in the summer leveling out at 17%. The bean pods average 12%. Stems are tan or gray in color, are stiff and have short but sharp curved thorns typical of all acacias. The leaves are smooth, dark green, roughly oblong shaped and are not easy to tear by hand. The flower is a yellow white puffy cylindrical spikelet and very fragrant and typically blooms from February to April. The bean pods are flattened, usually dark brown or black when ripe and contain several dark seeds. Each individual seed within the pod is held separately so the pod appears segmented. Regrowth black brush is very well armed with long white sharply pointed and paired thorns pointed in all directions. The brilliant white thorns make black brush easy to identify. Mature plants that have not been disturbed have far fewer and smaller thorns, but they are still present. Livestock will carefully browse it as will most exotics and deer throughout the year. Black brush is one of the, if not the, last plant to defoliate in a severe drought, so animals rely on it when times are really tough. Prescribed fire will top kill it if you have enough fuel available and chemical herbicides are very effective, especially if applied aerially. Mechanical control is possible with moderate soil disturbance as long as you remove the majority of the root system. Blackbrush doesn't seem to receive the respect it deserves from habitat managers, but I'm here to tell you that it is a very important plant to have on your landscape.